Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And coming right up, live action from the Elita Serie. It's Molde versus Olesund. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this system, I'm not sure how they're going to pose a threat going forward. The centre forward will certainly struggle to get any support, and there doesn't seem to be any attacking width. And the game begins. Lewis. It has to be. Oh, it's gone in. A derby goal, the first of the contest. Electric. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Nil then. And continues his run. And still looking for space. It's a perfect challenge. Austin. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And whipped into the box. Now the attack fizzled out. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Chance to cross. And the referee says corner kick. Taken short. Just the challenge that was required. No 
Well, just the tackle that was needed. And it's with Holland. Austin. And do they mean business on this occasion? Inside he goes. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Played over. Aerial opportunity. Couldn't take it. Well, he did well to get to the ball first, and he's unlucky there. He just got too much on it. And he's beaten him here. Launched into the penalty area. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Anderson. Can he play it in? And a chance to level it. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Good movement. And a goal it is. They lead by two now fully deserves. So 2-0 now. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect them to stop it. Substitution time it is here. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the time. Real chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Poor pass. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. It's a perfect challenge. Christensen. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. Clattered away. Barman. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And a tidy tackle. Well, 
Well, not giving him any breathing room. There will be one minute added on at the end. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded. No doubt about it, the home fans will be the happier of the two, Stuart. Well, we said how good they are at the back, but today it's been the front players still in the show. They really have been a handful for the opposition. Their ability in 1v1 situations has been excellent. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Barman. It might be. And there is the goal! Wow, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs well he has the measure of his opponent but fair play that goes down as a very good recovery now counter attacking possibilities here well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it Plenty of support here. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Mickelson. He could pick out a teammate. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Now the pressure being exerted. Risa. Teammates available. Big chance! And a goal! They've added to their lead. Much needed security. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure.
So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Anderson. Well, that is how to play advantage. Real chance. And still danger here. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Chances on. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Christensen, Alexander Uel Anderson, Christopher Barman, lovely work to get past his man. Will it be? And it's come off the keeper. Danger averted for now. Opportunity here. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Can he deliver it with accuracy? The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. It is to be a throw-in. Anderson. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Just ten minutes to go. Can he put it away? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. That is how to apply the pressure. He's enjoying space. He's in behind. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say.
Arsenal doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. He's failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. Now, what can they produce on the flank? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. It might be. Brilliant save. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space, and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.